Well, you're in the right city for it. I mean, there's plenty of stuff here. You know, is there is is the is it comparable the food scene from West Coast, East Coast? I know you are from the Boston, right. uh, Massachusetts area. Is there is it comparable? Yeah, I mean, I mean, San Fran's a great food city, as as you know. I mean, it's it's there's so many great places to eat, and um, uh, I'm probably actually gonna be going to McKellar Bar today, which is like this awesome beer bar. My first introduction to that place was when I was over in Copenhagen. Uh, that that's where their main bar is, and since then the main guy McKellar um, is like expanded out to. I think there's one in like Thailand, and there's one in San Francisco. So I'm probably gonna make the mile long trek over there. I think they serve food there too, so I'll get a really really good beer and something something tasty later on today. After getting off that stage and sweating a little bit, got to replenish the uh, goods, right? Got to recharge the juices. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Now uh, you still on a Jackson guitar? Is that right? Yep. I actually have my uh, my signature guitar coming out with them in October, so I'm really really excited about that. Nice. Yeah, nice. And that uh, that sounds like a great working relationship. You've been with them for a while now, right? Yeah, basically, um, sort of since the band started. I uh, our very first music video that we did for Dismantle the Dictator. I was playing a Ferrari Red Warrior. Um, my buddy Al, um, who plays and job for a cowboy, he put me in touch with. Uh, the Jackson people was like, hey, check out, you know, check out your man, like, playing this warrior here. Like, I don't think he's, like, endorsed yet. And then, like, instantly kind of started talking back and forth. And uh, they've been really great to me over the years. I've been working on this signature warrior uh, for almost about two years now. So just going through a couple different prototypes and getting the tweaks just right with the woods and, um, you know, knob placement or whatever. So um, that'll be coming out in October. So it's it's a really cool relationship to have where not only do they support me, but they also are going that extra mile to put out like a signature model for me. Wow, that is awesome, man. Congratulations on that. That's a, that's a huge, uh, huge accomplishment, man. Yeah, it's cool. They're, they're going to do like a limited run first. I think they're literally making like 14 worldwide. And then um, we're going to see how those sell. And then they might make sort of a more like affordable model from there so we'll, we'll we'll see how what the reaction is when it when it comes out so uh you started this band well and it went under a previous name but let's argument's sake high school right yeah basically um uh i think the band started in like 2006 we were under a different uh name prior to that but uh yeah just just playing a lot of shows in the boston scene and trying to gather as much steam as possible and here I am now. What, what was the influence? What made you just decide one day you wanted to be a dedicated musician? Is there a band or something you heard that you just said, I want to do that? Uh, well, for, for me, what got me playing guitar was seeing Joe Perry okay. from Aerosmith. Yeah, I remember like I was a kid just like in, in, uh, just in elementary school and I saw him, like something like Aerosmith music video and he was like just smoke and that Les Paul and it looked so cool. And uh, I had my mom go out and get me like a cheap like Yamaha Pacifica. I started taking lessons, and from there, kind of kept creeping into harder and harder styles of music. So I started with Aerosmith, got into Guns N' Roses, which was a another bump, you know, more hard rock, more attitude. Uh, and then from there, got into like like Pantera, Metallica, Megadeth, and that one, those bands were just such a gateway drug to all these other different types of more underground thrash or more underground death metal and black metal. And um, once I started going down that rabbit hole. I uh, just really fell in love with the with the genre and, and, and how it just it was you know everything went against the status quo which I which I really liked and it was music that was constantly inspiring me and uh, I guess yeah just m motivating me to get better as a musician. What were, what were some of the uh, earlier death metal influences that you you heard? Do you remember some of the early stuff? Like you you know you you talked about some really epic thrash bands. What's yeah. some of the first death metal that you heard? Uh, well, Cannibal Corpse was some of the first, um, and then I remember hearing, I'll never forget hearing In Flames for the first time, and it was so weird to hear like something that was with sort of death metal screaming or whatever, but with like, that was so melodic, I didn't like know you could do that kind of thing, so it was weird to hear like super, super melodic guitars and then these brutal vocals underneath it, so I remember like getting into like Horacle and Colony and all that stuff, um, and yeah, just just delving deeper and deeper into bands like like Gorguts or, or bands like Martyr from Canada who are, um, I always reference in a lot of my interviews that I do as being a big influence on me they're like a really underground kind of one of the unsung heroes of the technical death metal scene um, bands like Spawn of Possession uh, that were just really taking the technical uh, aspect to new heights uh, I remember there was a radio show called Nasty Habits 
uh, that I don't think is around anymore, unfortunately. It was, a, it was like a Boston College like radio show. Uh, and they, it was like 11 to midnight, and they did like like underground extreme metal. And I was dozing off one day, and I heard Spawn of Possession, but I, I didn't catch the name. And it was like that weird cusp of like, I mean, it was the internet was a thing, but you couldn't just like look up playlists and stuff like that. So I had to like wait for the next week to, for them to play it and like listen for the whole way through. And uh, so, yeah, all, all those great uh, death metal bands. It was just so fun to discover them. 